Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be having a look at the Flow crypto. My question is, can Flow compete with an ecosystem like Solana? Given all the issues that Solana is going through right now, this is a particular vulnerable time for Solana. This is a particular great time for Flow. You probably don't understand why, but allow me to explain. Flow has over 7,000 developers building on its ecosystem, over 11 million wallets, over 1,000 active projects, 350 plus nodes and monthly transactions in the wallets of 2 million. They're also a huge blockchain partner with multiple companies, NBA, UFC, NFL, Samsung, CryptoKitties, Ubisoft. They've got a vast ecosystem and they're growing this ecosystem with multiple dApps. Flow is now ranked 29th in the world of all cryptos. It's been doing extremely well in the last 24 hours. I believe it's gone up by over 100%. So we will do a price analysis, but we have to talk about the recent news. Meta NFT outpaced power 30% rally in Flow token. The dollar value of open position in Binance listed Flow future has increased by 345%, validating the price rally. Flow, the token of the Flow blockchain, surged over 35% in a wake of Meta platform decision to leverage the blockchain to expand its non-fungible tokens initiative. So now Flow is partnering with Meta. This is getting even bigger. You can add that to the list of partners. That's one of the many reasons why I think Flow could compete with Solana, but even dethrone Solana. That's if Solana don't fix their issues that they're having. As we know, the Solana wallets are being hacked and it's not a good thing for the Solana holders. It's not a good thing for anyone who's on the Solana ecosystem. But this is brilliant news for Flow. What a time. Now, to be exact, it was only a couple of days ago that Flow was $1.86. However, in the past couple of days, Flow has risen as high as $2.96. Absolutely incredible. The question is, can the price keep rising or will it stabilize and will it start to fluctuate around this price target? Around the $2.50 mark, is that where Flow is supposed to be with the recent news of Meta? Now, the token ran into buying pressure after Meta announced the international expansion of its recent piloted digital collectible features on its photo and video sharing platform Instagram. Meta declared supports for NFT created on the Flow blockchain. NFTs are digital tokens that represent ownership of physical or virtual assets. I'm sure we all know that by now. Now, the social media giant also announced support for Coinbase. That's the Coinbase wallet and Dapper wallet as third-party wallets compatible for use as part of the expansion plan. The Flow blockchain was created by Dapper's lab and is best known for NFT hit NBA Top Shot. In May, Dapper Labs unveil 725 million fund to boost gaming infrastructure, decentralized finance, content creator in the Flow ecosystem. Now, Flow price rally is backed by triple digit jump in future open interest across major exchange, including Binance. According to data tracked by CoinLass, open interest refers to the number of contracts traded, not the square off, which is an offset in position. Now, an increase in open interest means more money is being deployed into Flow market and it validates the price rally. This does validate the price rally. That is for sure. That is without a question. So we are aware that Flow is developing a huge, vast ecosystem. They're working with a lot of big companies around the world. And for cryptocurrency, that's not bad. They're listed on many different exchanges. So Flow is more than well established. Their ecosystem is well funded. And if you don't believe me, see for yourself. The Flow ecosystem fund, 725 million plus. That's an ecosystem fund designed to hypercharge innovation and growth across the Flow community. And like I said, they have over 7,000 dApp developers building on their ecosystem, on their platform. So Flow is taking an interesting direction in the crypto space. But the most important for sure is the fact that their ability to work with huge brands and to develop dApps at a rapid pace. With over 1,000 plus active with over 1,000 plus active projects, they're only gonna to continue to grow in the near future. Now, given that they've got 1 billion in circling supply, 1.39 billion in total supply, keep in mind, it's not so easy to pump this token. Solana is $40 per coin, and Solana has roughly around half a billion coins in total supply, 346 million in circling supply, a market cap of 14 billion. With Flow, on the other hand, they've got a market cap of 2.7 billion. But try to understand something. Flow is only just beginning. Arguably, if you look at the Flow price, 
A year ago, there were $22.70. In fact, sometimes they're even higher at $27.57. That's only a year ago. If you look back all throughout their history, there have been times that the price of the token were $38 per coin, sometimes $39 per coin. But initially, the token price started out roughly around $6.90. So all that they've achieved so far is all based on their own merits, their own achievement. I wouldn't necessarily call it a pump and dump. The entire market is doing terribly right now. So don't be surprised that the price is extremely low compared to where it was a year ago. That's just normal. In fact, this is a good thing. This proves that their ecosystem, their token is undervalued which is absolutely great for current people who want to invest at a cheap price, but invest in an ecosystem that's building upon itself, an ecosystem that is almost unstoppable. So could we see Flow getting back to a price of $20, $25? Of absolutely, but definitely in the next bull run. The problem is no one knows when the next bull run is. You got to leave that up to the imagination. But for a lot of people, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that the token is cheap right now, and one day it's going to be worth a lot more. That's the part that people like. Flow is a true competitor for Solana, Avalanche, Cordana, all of those that build them platforms, in my opinion. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.